Neil Fold, you have a reputation to uphold, not only as a former world number three and ranking event winner, but as being the king of the statisticians and historians amongst your fellow ITV pundits. Stephen Hendry, seven-time king of the crucible. Have you got any 80s pop music? Quite good on that. Who's beaten John Higgins three times at the crucible? It's got to be Ken. It must be Ken. Alan McManus. Oh. Whose first ranking title success came at the Welsh Open? That's Alan. Oh, well, that was Ken. It was. I'll just say Ken to all the answers. You're on a roll. Who won Pop Black in the only year it was played under a time format where players each had a clock that they had to stop and start. Uh, well, it's not me. Well, I know who that was. That was me. And they thought that if he can win it, we're never going to do it again like that because it's useless, the idea. I'm not going to say it's Neil. God, it's a 50-50 again. Ken. You're having an absolute howler here. It was Neil Foles. It was Neil. Who has an impression of their hands between Madonna and Kylie Minogue on the Walk of Fame outside Wembley Stadium? Yes, Stephen Hendry. Stephen, isn't it? Great guess. Whose interests include the Baroque Italian painter Caravaggio? Who's Ken. the most cultured? Ken. Yes. It's got to be Ken. How many times combined have you four pundits played Jimmy at the Crucible? 18. 11. Oh, you're so close. It's 12. Of the four of you, who was the first to reach the one table set up at the Crucible? It might have been me. Neil. Correct. Who played himself in the feature film Break Off, in which he took on the main protagonist in the pretend World Championship final? Yeah, that's the sort of thing Ken's all over. It has to be Ken. Well, again, it must be Stephen, right? No, it's Ken Doherty. Ken Doherty can do anything. He knows about paintings, <laughs> he acts. I can't believe it.